It's going to be a very important next couple of days to take Laura seriously. Uh, meteorologist Joe Hansel with Look Here National Forecast. I'm going to try to fit as much relevant info on Laura as I can in the next minute and a half to help you stay safe. Basically, if you're in an area of uh, evacuation orders, be sure to follow your local authorities and follow those orders. And if you're a person that's, person that's driving down to experience what a major hurricane could feel like or getting footage or whatever, be very safe. Obviously, I do not recommend that. Hurricane Laura, eyewells forming up near sunrise this morning. It's currently a cat two as of the 4 a.m. update with maximum sustained winds at 110 miles per hour. And it's going to own the Gulf of Mexico today. Uh, it's going to be intensifying. It's just a matter of how strong it's going to get. Hurricane watches and warnings for areas of southeast Texas, Louisiana, and southern Arkansas. Storm surge alerts are out there with watches or warnings. Stay out of the water as water levels will begin to rise. Storm surge 10 to 15 feet expected in areas of southwest Louisiana, basically near Lake Charles. Storm surge can make its way as far north as about 30 miles inland. Um, National Hurricane Center expecting it to become a Cat 4 later this afternoon, potentially. Might be a major hurricane at landfall late tonight, early tomorrow morning, bringing with it a moderate risk of flash flooding as far north as like Memphis. East of Houston, west of New Orleans, that red bullseye, 5 to 10 inches, locally 15 inches of rain, and a risk of severe weather, damaging winds and tornadoes with the spin of lore as it makes it So again, be very, very safe the next couple of days.